What up, fam bam? Welcome back to that car foo. No being around the bush. Um, it's not clickbait. Tundra's gone, man. Uh, what ended up happening with the Tundra? I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible. Um, first of all, my I want to apologize and say I'm sorry. Haven't been posting. Um, been trying to recover since the holidays. And if you guys don't know, for those of you that are new watching this, maybe uh, for those of you that been here, um, you guys know that I'm in construction. I drive a concrete truck. So during winter, um, you know, construction is slow. There's, there's no way around it. Construction is slow. Um, you know, it, there's no work. There's rain. There's snow. Uh, we obviously can't pour concrete when it's raining. Um, when it's really high winds, we don't work. Uh, you know, it, it dries out the concrete a certain way and cracks it. So, um, so just trying to recover. Um, I do, I do got a few more things coming for the S10. Don't mind my garage, you know, my door, uh, Easter Sunday, that thing fell off. I haven't opened the garage, uh, for like about, I don't know, man, four months. So, Go to open the garage and it fell off the track. I got somebody coming on the way to fix that in a couple of days, hopefully. And I got ice chests and, and all types of stuff out. Cords behind me for the jumpers and everything that we were running for uh, extension cords. I needed power, but I got to organize my garage. Um, But anyways, I just want to say I'm sorry for not posting. I would love to. I wanted to, but um obviously i gotta choose whether my money that i have saved goes towards the bills which is number one it's a priority or i just say let me take the chance and gamble and you know just start buying more parts for the uh s10 um that being said obviously i gotta do what's right i have a family so i live on my own i'm paying rent for a house so i can't just um throw money on on the s10 as much as i would love to you know i would have had a lot more things done to this but work has been slow for the past four months january february march april is barely starting to pick up past two weeks i've had a good check my money's starting to hit so now i'm buying parts again i got parts on the way um so you guys stay tuned it will be happening videos about to start picking up i just didn't want to bore you guys with just trying to make content over you know dumb things um, I know a lot of YouTubers, they, they just do that. If they have nothing uh, to throw out there, they just start pinging random things and, and making content out of whatever. I don't want to do that. I want to be genuine as possible and make content out of what I love doing, which is working on my dad's truck, plus my new vehicle that I got that I will uh, uh, be showing you guys on the next video. Um, but anyways, back to the S10. The S10, a couple months ago... Um, let me take a seat. A couple months ago on the S10, uh, beginning of February, I noticed as soon as I would start going, uh, the transmission wouldn't want to go. Or I should just say the truck wouldn't want to go. If I come to a stop uh, at a stop sign or a red light, the truck would take a few seconds and then go. And then if the truck did go right away, it would like jerk into gear right away or, or whatever. It would just jump the truck you know and it progressively started getting worse i've been in contact with toyota been notifying them about it um and around the same time that i've been having these issues i've noticed that uh other guys on the uh, tundra forums have been posting that they're having this same issue and then i started seeing you know my truck only has sixteen thousand miles on it you know it didn't have that many miles at all A little bird landing in front of my garage just just yelling and shit um, but it didn't have that many miles. I, I didn't drive it like that. You know, the reason why I didn't drive it like that, I drove it to and from work. I'm like two exits off the freeway from work. I drove it on one long trip, which was to, uh, uh, Yosemite. And I traveled, visit Levi stadium. Um, uh, I put about a, probably a good 1500 miles on it that, that vacation time. So, um, but yeah, so I started seeing guys on the forums there, posting how their trucks are slipping and i'm like okay hold up i'm having the same issue never had no issue with the engine or anything else a lot of guys are having blown engines and stuff i don't know how hard they're pushing their truck um but 
I started having similar issues that these other guys are having with the transmission and the truck jerking and stuff like that. Well, I started getting impatient um, with Toyota. I'm not going to say particularly like mad or anything like that. Toyota's always been good to me. Um, the dealership that I go to, they've always been good to me. So I'm not going to like bad mouth them or anything like that. They always took care of me. Um, as far as with the truck, they, they bought it back. Obviously they paid it off. Um, they took care of me. Um, but the problem with the truck was they were, um, when they looked at it and they determined that the transmission was starting to slip, um, something was going bad. I didn't really, you know, understand what they were talking about, but anyways, it was going to be about a six month process for my transmission to be pulled um uh dissected and either they're gonna replace the parts that are going bad or they're just gonna give me a whole new transmission anyways they said the process could take six months and obviously i need a daily and they were willing to give me a loaner car for my truck now where i kind of drew the line was my truck payment is like 1400 bucks a month i could afford that relatively you know easy and and it's all good. I don't have I didn't have no issues with it. I was never late. Matter of fact, I was putting a couple hundred dollars extra a month on my payments. I could be ahead on payments. That wasn't the issue. My issue is if you're gonna give me a loaner vehicle, give me something dope. I don't want to be driving around in, you know, a Toyota Corolla paying fourteen hundred bucks a month. That's the thing. I cannot stop making my payments even if my truck's in the shop for six months. I still got to make those payments. So it'll be like whatever loaner car they gave me, which was, they said, most likely would have been a Corolla or like a RAV4. My payments would be essentially 1400 bucks a month for a Corolla or a RAV4. That's how I saw it. So that being said, um, I'm not about to do that. So what I ended up doing was talking to the uh, boss over there at Toyota Claremont, which is the one I go to. I already bought four cars from them. Um, or purchase for vehicles or whatever and trade it up and stuff like that um i have the 86 outside that's i got from claremont toyota i had the 2019 camry which was the new the eighth gen the eighth gen camry when that first came out i was one of the first people to hop on that um and i got that right away amazing car i had no issues with that car that car was just flawless from the beginning that i had it to the the end of the that i had it it was just completely flawless I love that car. I wanted to do like a VIP build on that car. I never got the chance to. Um, obviously, those of you that have been with the channel for a little bit, you guys know that my dad had passed away. So that money that I had for my car build went towards my dad's funeral. And then my mom passed away. So the money I had saved went towards my mom's funeral. And then um, I just started feeling like it was never going to get done. Um, so I was just like, I lost interest. And I'm just like, you know, everything was just going on in my life where I just... I didn't care about, you know, the car scene anymore for a little bit. I was just kind of like depressed and, and sad. So I ended up, you know, trading it, trading it in and waited for, I, I, I traded it back to Toyota. They, um, it was during the whole after COVID thing, 2021, they had no cars on a lot. So they kind of, um, they bought it back from me, gave me an equity check and I saved that equity check and waited for the Tundra to come out and I got the Tundra. So I know this is kind of like going off topic, but I just, wanted to get get that off my mind real quick but so they paid off the tundra um they took it back and they offered me another vehicle for zero money down well not not at first not that vehicle but i wanted i wanted a toyota supra uh the stick ship version which they weren't going to have done for about three months um and then the the new toyota a6 um, the new the new version, I wanted one of those, but same thing. They only had automatics and the stick shift ones weren't gonna be there for about four months. And the one that I was I was either wanting like black or or red. Um, those are the only two colors I wanted. And being a stick shift, they said they weren't gonna have those for about five months. That I guess, you know, whatever. Um then they had the Trureno edition, which looked it looked really clean, um, had some like graphics on it so that one was going to be about a two-month waiting period um came with the upgraded brakes and all that but the only issue with that excuse me they had like this vinyl on the top of the hood 
that just didn't match it. Like there's some vinyl going on the side of the car on the Torino editions that look really good, but there's a vinyl on the hood. And he, the guy could not tell me for sure if it was vinyl or if it was painted like that. And it just, it just does not go with the car at all. So I was just like, you know what? Um, let me get back at you guys. I went back the next day and I ended up getting something that I liked. And I really was like, you know, um, I'm digging this. So I got it, zero money down. Um, obviously my payments ain't 1400 bucks no more. They're more like, you know, 400, which is hella better for me. You know, now I got more money for the S10 and I got money for that car now to start as a project. Um, but I, I'll, I'll show you that on the next video, which, you know, will probably, you know, be in a couple of days, but, um, yeah, man, uh, there's no, there's no way around it. Transmission started slipping on the Tundra. I love the truck, beautiful truck inside and out. You guys obviously seen it. Um, I was one of the first people that started posting on YouTube, uh, with the 1794 edition. So it sucks that it's gone. The kids are sad. I'm sad. It didn't work out. But you know what? God has a plan and I'm still very blessed and we're about to start getting on this YouTube role because like I told you guys in one of the prior videos um, that I really want to start being on YouTube more this year and I really want to start making more content and uh, uploading more things and I want to start, you know, really just getting into the S10 build a lot more as well as the other car now, which I'm going to, you know, start getting stuff. Uh, well, I already have parts ordered. They're coming in the mail already um, as well as the S10. So the S10, the first things that I'm, that I'm gonna be ordering, I haven't ordered them yet, but it's gonna be the control arms. So obviously the control arms, I got to go on first. So everything else goes based off the control arms for the S10. Um, I can't really do nothing else without those. So yeah, that's that's uh, what happened with the Tundra guys. And um, stay tuned um, for those of you that that haven't uh, been on my channel yet. Please, you know, like like my channel, like the video, subscribe. Uh, it'll it'll give me a bit more algorithm and and it'll keep motivating me to keep putting these these uh, videos out there for you guys and and the S10 is gonna be is gonna be a one off build so I hope you guys stick around for that and um, like I said this is all first for me so you guys are along the journey with me and you guys are gonna be learning as I'm learning as I'm going so um, yeah man just stay tuned guys I, I got I got a lot more stuff coming so for those that been here I appreciate you guys anybody that's new. Stick around, man. You guys, you guys are gonna like what you guys see. I promise. So, goodbye, Tundra. I got a lot of, I got a lot of good memories in that truck. You know, um, I have a lot of pictures I've never posted, and they're in my phone. But it was a good truck, and and it's unfortunate that there's been so many issues with the engines and transmission in these trucks. You know, if Toyota would have maybe just stuck with the V8 or or updated the the V8, um, just a newer version, I feel like the truck would have just been a, a real hit. But a lot of people are getting recalls right now and, and Toyota has bought back a lot of tundras from people and it just sucks, you know, like that the truck, the shape, the lines of it, it looked real good and it just it's just a new thing that Toyota tried. Usually Toyota has really, really a really good team that develops really good things. Unfortunately it just wasn't with the truck. Um but yeah man. Stick around. You guys are going to be excited for the things coming. You guys are going to be real excited. You guys are going to enjoy what, what I got coming for you guys. So thank you guys, man. I'll see you guys on the next one.